welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my six month rhinoplasty update. For those of you guys who don't know or are new to my channel, I had a rhinoplasty on November 14th, 2017. So six months ago. And I cannot believe that time has flown by that quickly. And there's not really much to say because everything has gone really, really smoothly. I have shared with you guys my experience from the time of going into the surgery and all the you know recovery days after that, as well as my payment uh, options and the cost of my surgery, my surgeon, and you know all of those weeks kind of following my surgery. So if you guys are interested in seeing those videos, I will link them up in this little eye that you guys see up here. If you just click on it, it'll list those suggested videos. So check those out. I just went for my six month post-op um, office visit with Dr. Cousins on May 7th. So last Monday. And you know, he said everything looks great. Everything looks fine. He checked inside my nose. He checked my scar. He checked my nostrils. I mean, and he said everything is going really, really smoothly. And he said, believe it or not, there is still some swelling, particularly on the tip. Uh, so I can't even fathom that there's any swelling left because I just love the look of my nose at this point. The size of it is totally fine, but apparently the tip is going to get more defined and smaller. So we'll see. Um, so that's gonna happen up to like 12 months. So regarding the tip, one thing that I do still notice is that my tip is still quite stiff. So there is a little bit of movement on it now. If you guys could see, it does kind of move a little bit, but it's not flexible like a normal nose tip would be. So if you guys can push up your uh, the tip of your nose right now into like a piggy, you know, sort of nose, I can't do that right now because my tip is like so stiff. Like I physically can't do so it. So the flexibility there is still a little bit limited, not something that is bothersome or that, um, you know, interferes with your daily living at all. It's just something that you kind of become aware of, you know, like when you have to be flexible with your nose. That's not gonna totally come back until a year or later. So, you know, we're still kind of waiting on that. So one other thing that I've noticed is that picking my nose, we all do it, so don't knock down high and mighty. Sometimes you just gotta get stuff out of there, you know what I mean? But it's, it's definitely a little bit harder than before I had my rhinoplasty, but easier than it was three months ago. So it is improving. I think as the flexibility on my nose, you know, comes back, it does get easier because it just like, I can't like really, you know, get in there. It kind of takes a little bit of maneuvering in there kind of have to twist your finger in a circular way instead of just you know what I mean and I think it just has to do with the flexibility again but other than that you know that's great so another thing that I've noticed though is that I'm hyper aware of when I have boogers speaking of picking your nose um like I can't stand having boogers in my nose now so I just have to have a clean nose at all times I just cannot stand boogers and I feel like I could sense it when they're in there or feel it <sighs> I have a clear nose now but like if I even just breathe and I feel like I hear a booger like I have to get it out like it's crazy I don't know what it is I think it's just like the fact that I'm more hyper aware of my nose now and I'm like always thinking about it and that's not to say that I like always have boogers in there or like I'm always blowing my nose I'm just saying like as soon as I feel like something's in there, I just have to get it out. You know, it's just like an obsessive thing at this point, I think. So it's kind of weird, but it is what it is, okay? I'm just sharing with you guys my experience right now. Um, and in terms of like soreness or anything, I don't get sore anymore. I don't have any soreness whatsoever. That's all gone. And facial expressions, I also don't like have any issues with making facial expressions anymore. See? <laughs> so totally mobile face. My lips are also completely, I think, um, adjusted, mobile, and everything. See that? Before I used to feel a lot of tightness, particularly like at three months, I still felt, uh, compared to now, I didn't realize it, but there was still a little bit of tightness there. Like even just stretching out my lips, like I couldn't do all the way. I could do like, you know? Like it was still really stiff. But now it's like, can basically touch my nose and my lips again so anyway so stiffness in the lip area is gone totally gone scarring i don't have like any visible scarring on my nose let's also talk about the scar on my chin because in the last video i didn't 
the clip got lost. But um, I do have a minor scar on my chin. As you guys know, I had a chin implant put in and I also have a little bit of lipo right here. So, <laughs> um, by the way, the lipo was a recommendation again from Dr. Cousins because he's amazing and he did that for me again at no cost. I don't even talk about the chin implant because I feel like it's a part of my face, honestly. Like, I don't even think about it. I never have thought about it, but I do forget sometimes. Oh yeah, I have a chin implant. The scar under my nose, it's practically invisible unless you're like me and you know where it's at and you can like pinpoint it. But like a stranger could walk up to me on the streets to inspect my nose and if he didn't know that I had a rhinoplasty, he would not be able to find the scar. I can find it because I feel like I still have it engraved in my head like where it was. So for me, I can find it. I'm gonna zoom in in a second. I do have a small scar on the bottom of my chin here where the chin implant was put in and that has gotten way better in these last three months. At three months, it was like pretty thick and now it's it's like thinner like at three months it felt like a little bump down here but now it's thinner and it's faded a little bit so i'll show you both those scars right now can you guys see how like imperceptible that scar is and then i think you could also see my chin implant scar here I have a centimeter ruler, but I have this one. This one's in inches. And the zero starts right there. So. It's about a half an inch, my scar, which is tiny. It's about that big. That's where the zero starts, guys. So it's not all this, it starts there. So, all I is all like half an inch tiny one of the questions that i get a lot is how did i end up like choosing my doctor like after you've been doing research and you you know have picked several doctors to consult with like how did i end up making my decision for me i think that i had predetermined who my surgeon was going to be based on my research because i found dr cousins published articles and me being a university student you know i always go to the university database and i was researching peer-reviewed articles which are very good sources to go through you don't just go on google and um you know those are search engines but i wanted to find like good articles so i used my university's library page for that i found one of his articles that talked about the drooping tip the plunging tip and um from then, you know, I started like figuring out like, oh, he does talks in different countries and he teaches others about, you know, rhinoplasty. So, you know, if he's teaching and presenting his techniques to others, then I feel that that is definitely someone who's worth looking into and worth trusting. And then of course, the final thing was actually meeting him in person and then seeing that he kind of exudes this calming presence and confidence in what he talks about. And then the last thing that really convinced me about him was this. I did so much research into rhinoplasty that I knew, and Dr. Cousins doesn't know this, but I knew that I needed a chin implant. Like in my head, I knew it, you know? I said, and I told my husband, and I wish he was here. He's actually out at the park with Alyssa. I told him, I wanna walk into an office and have a surgeon tell me, you know what? You could really use a chin implant, girl. And I will know that that's the surgeon for me because you know, they don't just want to do what I'm asking them to do. They're gonna do like what's gonna look better for my face. And let me tell you, I went into Dr. Cousin's office and I said, well, the major concern that I have really is that I have a bump on my nose. And he looked at me, really awkward situation by the way. He just kind of scanned my face in really awkward silence. Um, and then he said, okay, you could definitely use the nose job, you know, dorsal hump removal, uh, bring up the tip a little bit and I would also really recommend a chin implant and, and then I looked at my husband and I said told you and at that moment I knew that Dr. Cousins was the one to do my surgery next question how do you feel now about your rhinoplasty now that more time has passed okay I know exactly where this question stems from and I think it's from the mini breakdown that I had in my initial experience video so there is a small window of time when your mind sort of goes through this 
dysphoria process, dysmorphia, dysphoria, one of those two, a uh, process where you don't recognize yourself in the mirror and you can't quite accept the changes that are being made. Also, there's a lot of swelling that for some reason my brain could not perceive at the moment. I was like, there is no swelling anymore. The swelling is gone. This is what my nose is going to look like and it's really chubby and it's flat to my face. And that was not the case at all. Obviously there was hella swelling still. Um, my cheeks were like really swollen to where they met up to the bridge of my nose. So my nose did kind of look flat to my face because of all the swelling that was still there. But you panic because it's been like eight days and you know, there's still swelling. And you feel like, okay, so once the bandages come off, you know, it's gonna be fine. All the, it's gonna be cool. That's gonna be my nose. And that's just not the case. You have to wait at least three weeks in order for the swelling to go down. I went back and I reviewed the video and at that consult where Dr. Cousins removed the, what are they called? I can't remember it anymore. Where Dr. Cousins removed the splints, um, he specifically said, you won't be able to see your front view until about three weeks. Three weeks so you'll right? be able to actually see what the front view looks like. Um, three weeks so you'll right? be able to actually see what the front view looks like. Well, I didn't hear any of that because I was so focused on like how swollen my nose was at the time that he removed, you know, the cast. I didn't even hear that. And for the next three weeks, I psyched myself out. You know, there was still a lot of swelling and I go back. I'm like, how did I not see that my face was that swollen still? But at that moment, I looked in the mirror. I was like, there is no more swelling. This is just what my face is going to look like for the rest of my life. I can't believe I did this. Um, but basically, the only thing I can tell you guys is be patient because there is still swelling there. Uh, don't panic. I know it's really hard to say, but wait at least three weeks. Even at three weeks, there was still a lot of swelling. And that's when I started posting like makeup pictures. And I look back at those pictures. I'm like, girl, you are posting pictures with that much swelling on your nose. Like, how dare you? You know, um, like, let me show you. Look at this. I felt like so cute here. This was like three and a half or four weeks after my surgery. And do you guys see the amount of swelling that was there? Like there is still swelling even at three to four weeks. And let me do one more that was like even later. And there is still swelling. And I look back at it and I'm like, whoa, I couldn't even see that. Like in this one, this one is also like four to five weeks. I don't know if you guys could see, like there's still swelling in that same area, like on this side. My nose was a lot more like swollen on one side and that's just uneven swelling. So now that more time has passed, I definitely feel extremely happy with my decision. I would do it again if I had to do it. Um, luckily I don't, so I won't, but yes, I would do it again if I had to because the results are amazing and there's just nothing like being able to be confident at any angle. You know, I feel like I'm more free now. I'm not constantly thinking that people are looking at my nose because before I used to like feel like people were literally saying, oh, she does her makeup good, but she has crooked nose. You know, like in my mind, and people didn't even care about my nose, let me tell you. In my mind, and I'm sure in other people's minds, all you think about is, oh my God, they're staring at my nose. They know that my nose is crooked. They know that I have a bump on my nose. It takes up so much of your thoughts and energy. It's just worth it to get it just because it makes you feel better by yourself and more confident. So definitely I would do it over if I had to again. And I don't regret it whatsoever. The recovery was tough because of that, like I said, that time period when your mind just kind of plays tricks on you and you know, it doesn't let you see the end goal and the end picture and you kind of get a little bit impatient. So you just kind of start to psych yourself out. But so that part is hard, but the result is so, so worth it that you know you're gonna look back and, and like me say oh my gosh i was so silly <laughs> so silly but yeah i'm so so happy really nothing else i could say i love it i love it I'm extremely happy with the results honestly it exceeded my expectations this could not have gone any better and of course it takes the right team the right surgeon in order to really envision like what your best look can possibly be. And I sound like a walking billboard ad for Dr. Cousins, I swear, but I don't get paid to promote his work or anything like that. I'm just 
so grateful and thankful with you know what he was able to do on me the results were great i mean just out of this world sometimes i just want to take off my nose and hug it like i'm just so happy guys all right so that's it for my six month rhinoplasty update guys i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys have any additional questions in the comment section down below and i will be sure to get back to you as i have been doing for all my rhinoplasty videos i know you guys have a lot of questions on that and i'm happy to answer so uh with that being said let me think i don't think i'll be doing any other updates until uh, 12 months so until the full year so i'll talk to you guys then about my nose job but in the meantime you can keep following my story and my experience on my instagram snapchat twitter all those everywhere i'm just at beauty marked so with that being said, remember that wherever you go and whatever you do, always leave your mic.